Hi, I'm Tom. I'm the head of sports science at Arsenal. I'm Barry. I'm the first team strength and conditioning coach at Arsenal Football Club. I'm Ben and I'm the first team sports scientist at Arsenal Football Club. So the great thing about Stat Sports is that the ease of use with the iPad and the watch itself allows us to make in-depth decisions on the pitch, whether the player is right next to us or 50 metres away on another pitch. Really useful for the coaches, really useful for SNC guys during the processes of rehab and it allows us to make those decisions really quickly when we need to. Yeah, so whether we've got, uh, if we've got two different drills going on at the same time, I'd say the live makes it really simple, really easy just to put different players in different drills so we can see the data from, from both aspects. And then the same if there's a rehab session going on whilst training's going on as well, that's when the, the Somna watch comes into its own and whoever's taking the rehab's got that. They've got all the data live so they can see exactly what they're doing. Obviously we have the infrastructure in place. Uh, that's very important for us because we could have a training group on this pitch. We have a pitch that's not being used and then there's a pitch after that. So between the three pitches, we can get every player on one iPad. But we also do use the watch for the physio or, or one of the SNC guys who are working closely with the player so they can have instant feedback. It also works really well when, say, a player in that instance or maybe who's had a, someone's had a day off or someone you're, you're keeping an, an eye on in the session, while Ben might be running the actual session on the iPad, it's easy for someone like myself or Tom or Sam to be able to grab one or two players on the watch and keep an eye on them while they're in the session so you're, you know, ticking all the boxes in terms of what they're going to need for that day. It's great how the live data that we get on the iPad is also identical to the download. That way we can ensure that we're providing the right elements for the player whilst we're on the pitch. This is really important for the player themselves because they trust what we do and it ensures us as the practitioner that they are getting the physical stimulus we require them to get on any given day. I think it allows you to adapt in session. So if we have something that might be planned for someone to hit certain distances or certain metrics, we can look at that then and we know if we're doing a block of football drills or a block of running or whatever it might be that we need to add or subtract as the session goes and something we might have planned to tag on at the end of a session, we may have already hit those metrics. So we have the info live on the pitch rather than having to wait to, to download it as we go. So that helps a lot. two biggest things which we've touched on quite a bit is the watch um, and just having the ability to, to take the iPad around all of our first team pitches and have the data live the whole way through the session no matter where we are don't have to carry around a beacon or a receiver it's not dropping out there's no dropouts on any of the pitches so yeah I'd say that's great. Yeah it's, it's one of those where we we do use the data to inform our decision making um, having it live makes it a lot easier. It's brilliant how Sonra is able to download in two minutes. So once we come in from the session, if we want to put a leaderboard up in, in the dressing room, it's done as soon as they're back in. So from them walking into the changing room, we can have everything downloaded and put on the screens to allow them to see the feedback and then see their scores in relation to the others who trade with them. Yeah, so normally we'd, we'd come straight in, get the units off the players, they download within a few minutes, then sync it with the iPad. That's obviously very straightforward, very quick. We can look at the specific drills, we can export that, we can put it into our own system where we, we've got all the data displayed to all the other staff. So we know the live and the download is pretty much the same. So the reason why that's good is then I can feed back to the manager. As we're walking in, right, boss, this is we hit these targets. Uh, when we have like two games a week, um, there is a short time of recovery, you know. But uh, if you want to recover after the game well, you need to sleep well, eat well and uh, training well. That's it. There's three simple rules. Of course, numbers are helpful, but you have to find the balance between numbers and uh, your feeling. My use that I tend to use it is post-game, so post-game the boys all do running afterwards. It's a lot easier for me to have the data on the watch, then take a beacon and an iPad to every away game. 
So it's one of those, we go out on the pitch, set it up on the watch. We start doing the runs or the, or the training session we're doing. Um, and then it's just using that um, after each block, double check we're hitting the targets we require uh, and then adapting as we go on. Someone that's new to using it, I've just found it very easy to use, very reliable, very accurate when you're downloading it after. It's, it's always accurate compared to the download. So no, I find it very useful. In my opinion, the best use with Stat Sports is it actually allows us as practitioners more time to be with the athlete. So in order for us to provide the best service, our time is probably the, the thing we can give most. So instead of being sat in the office trying to download data, all our sports science and SNC coaches are able to go to the player themselves, deliver the information that we've collected from the unit and be face to face rather than stuck behind the computer. Training is very well designed here and it's very well related to the game, uh, the way you want to play. Over the last probably decade, you've seen the intensity of the Premier League just kind of notch up a little bit every year. And I think if people don't train at that level now, they can't survive at the weekend. We train as we play, you know, when we go um, on the training pitch, we go full gas. And uh, I think that's been important for us, you know, I think it's helped helped us a lot, you know, to prepare for the game. So you have to, to find a good balance, but uh, when you train, you have to train properly and that's what we're doing.